Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how to create Ordinate Dimension in four different ways. Let's start from scratch and we will create new model and I will start directly simple extrude feature. In this extrude feature we will create a couple of lines so the shape will be ready for the Ordinate Dimensions and nothing special, really easy shape. Now you can see that directly system creates a dimension and as you know you can create your custom dimensions. Over here is the create a baseline and if you specify the baseline it will be zero for the ordinate dimension. So select entity and confirm middle button and where you confirm middle button the system will place the zero reference. Now if you will start to create dimension you can select the zero reference and then with control button you can specify which entity you would like to dimensions and then if you will hit the middle button the system will automatically show necessary dimensions. So once again create a baseline for example this one middle button yeah over here is the zero and then if I will select dimension I will select the zero dimension baseline and then with control button additional entity. So simple, you can see here that system will automatically show me and I see that I have a equal dimension so system asks me if I would like to create reference dimensions so I can reuse and create reference dimensions and will be automatically in bracket. So this is the first example how to create reference dimensions. If we will go to the drawings we need to see this information in the drawing. So let's jump to the drawing. So I will create new drawing based on the name and as the empty template standard A3, I think that size will be good. Simple, create the general view and specify orientation. I will use the front and for example, scale will be 0 0.5, doesn't matter. And we don't want to see the datum planes here. What we would like to see is the dimensions from the sketch best and easy way is if you select right mouse button show dimension by view and you will select the view and automatically the system will show you the dimensions from the sketch and as you can see everything is defined as needed so over here was the example how to show dimensions from the model or from the feature and if you create reference dimensions directly in the model you can see it here fine I will delete these dimensions and I like to open model and also we will make some modifications. So I will jump into sketch and we will delete all these dimensions and we will start to create the standard one. So simple and easy. Over here is the second example how you can create. So I will create new dimensions and directly from the one reference. So you can also select the entity with the control button if necessary you can use and create reference or better will be if I will delete this equal and then the dimension will be not reference so I will finalize it and create this one okay also we can create the dim reference dimension from here so this is the reference and first dimension with control button two references and with middle button placement. Now you can see that the system will show me the dimensions as needed and if I will jump back to the drawing so we can see here that it's again possible to show dimension by view and the system will show me dimension from the feature again. But now you see that it's not ordinary dimensions. Simple and easy you can select the dimension here, reuse the right mouse button and select toggle ordinate linear and the system will create ordinary dimensions. Also here you can select new dimensions, toggle ordinate linear and will be automatically changed. If you would like to work with this one, no problem. You can move away and it's fine. Also you can use the snap lines if necessary. This example was that I have reused the dimensions from the feature but also it's possible if you create dimension directly 
in the in the drawing. So if I will select annotate, I will create dimension and we can select the opposite. Yeah, so you can simple and easy create new dimensions. Yeah, from one side, from one reference. And again, if you will select right mouse button, toggle ordinate linear, and the system will show you the dimension as needed. So it was the second example that you can do it again directly from the feature and then transform dimension with the right mouse button or you can create dimension in the drawing and again transform as needed. What I'd like to show you is that I'd like to show you more. Yes. So what we would like to do is that we will again jump to the model and in the model I will jump directly to annotate tab and I'd like to show you that also you are able to create the 3D dimensions. So what does it mean model based definition and over here you have a functionality ordinate driven dimensions. But uh, you have to be careful because if you will work with the MBD model based definition you have to specify which plane is the activated. So for example I will select again front plane and if you would like to orient you can use the activate annotation plane. Or simple and easy if you will select this small arrow you can automatically reorient model when set. What does it mean? If you will select back will be back, it will be front, will be directly front. So this is about the orientation or automatic activation of the annotation plane. And now over here is the icon that ordinate driven dimensions. And what the system requests to you is that you need to specify the entity and then with the middle button you will place the zero. And again if you will continue with the ordinate driven dimensions you can specify where is the baseline and then with the control button you can specify where it will be. And again if you will select the uh, Annotation here, I don't want to see this message anymore. You can simply select and then you can move. Yeah, and everything will be moved automatically. So again, ordinate driven dimension, select the reference. With the middle button, you can confirm. And then again, if you will start, you can select and with control button, you will select more and more entities doesn't matter if it is right entity or over here will be the whole the system will create necessary dimension for you what does it mean you can see the dimensions are on 3d but also if you will jump to the drawing you can show these dimensions so what does it mean i can down, jump into annotate and over here is show model annotation and if you will select drop down menu over here is the ordinate dimensions you can specify the view and automatically select everything. Yeah, so it was third example how to create the dimensions and it's a model based definition, so directly on the model. And last but not least is the way that you don't need to specify anything on the model, so you can have a any dimensions on the model, but you would like to see and create the dimension directly on the drawing only. So if you will jump into annotate tab in the drawing mode, please select the drop down menu here and you have uh, two options. So first one is the ordinate dimensions and second one is out ordinate dimensions. So in reality, I will show you five different ways, but we can start here. So ordinate dimensions and the system will ask you again, select entity where the baseline will be created. And with the control button, you can specify which and where is the additional entity. Also, you can do it for the bottom one. So I will select ordinate dimensions. We can specify the reference and with the control, you will specify the additional references and with the middle button, you will place where the text is placed. Also this, you can hide and you don't want to see it anymore. So it was manual selection and it was manual placement, ordinate reference dimension, one by one, reference by reference. What I prefer, it's a something what I like to show at the directly at the end of this tutorial. So if I will delete everything, 
and if I will select Auto Ordinate Reference Dimensions, it's really powerful because you can specify and select only surface and then system ask you where is the zero, where is the baseline. So for example, yeah, middle button and then select the baseline. So select baseline and system will show you necessary dimension and also you can select the additional baseline, for example this one, and also you can see that system creates dimension for you. I have specified the auto ordinate reference dimension, so now you can see that the reference dimension has been created. If you don't want to reference dimension, but you would like to use the standard one, no problem, select the auto ordinate dimension, select surface, middle button, select baseline, for example this one, and also another one, and everything is specified as needed. So over here, it was really big and quick example how you can create in different way the ordinate dimension for your model, for the model-based definition model, or directly in the drawing. Thank you, stay tuned and like it. Bye-bye.